from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Two people are dead in an apparent homicide in a Glen Allen neighborhood. And Henrico County files a federal lawsuit over insulin prices. We'll tell you about these stories and others in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Tuesday, November 28, 2023, and it's brought to you today by Revel Market and Bar. And now for the news. As we were first to report yesterday, Henrico police are conducting a homicide investigation in the River Mill community in Glen Allen after two people were found dead in a home there. It happened in the 11,000 block of Little Five Loop in the neighborhood, which is relatively new. Police closed roads in the immediate area for an extended period of time while they investigated. They released few details yesterday, but neighbors told the citizen that the homeowner and his father were the two victims. The homeowner was a Henrico Health Organization owner. He purchased the home new in June of 2021. According to Henrico Property Records, it's unclear whether his father also lived there. We'll have more information about this incident as it becomes available. Earlier this month, Henrico County filed a federal lawsuit against three manufacturers of insulin, three pharmacy benefit managers, and 12 subsidiaries of the companies, alleging that they conspired to artificially inflate the price of the medicine, which is used to treat diabetes. In the suit, filed November 20th in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Virginia, Henrico alleges that the insulin manufacturers Eli Lilly and Company, Novo Nordisk Inc., and Sanofi Aventis U.S. LLC, and the subsidiaries have, quote, in tandem increased the prices of their insulins up to 1,000%, end quote, during the past two decades. As a result, the county argues, it has been overcharged substantially for insulin during that time, thereby harming its financial ability to provide necessary services to the community. The county is self-insured, meaning that it pays to provide private health and coverage to its 11,000 plus employees, therefore incurring many costs associated with insulin supplies, both for those employees who need the medicine and also for the county agencies that use it. Now in the lawsuit, Henrico does not specify a dollar amount of restitution that it's seeking but says that it will prove at trial the amount it believes it is owed, a figure that it suggests should at least include the difference between the amount Henrico paid for insulin between 2003 and this year and the actual value of the medicine during that period. Insulin costs manufacturers as little as two dollars per vial to make according to the lawsuit but those vials often range in price between three hundred and seven hundred dollars a piece to purchasers like the county. The lawsuit alleges that the defendants have engaged in an illegal scheme to artificially elevate the price of insulin so that they each benefit financially. It suggests that the PBMs, whose purchasing power it claims should theoretically drive down list prices, instead benefit financially from secret kickbacks that the manufacturers provide after artificially inflating their list prices for the medicine. I've got complete coverage of this lawsuit right now. You can read more about it on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. The Virginia Department of Education recently awarded 46 Henrico schools with nearly $96,000 total in grant funding for new school security equipment for the current school year. Of the 98 school divisions awarded funding, Henrico had the most schools that were allocated with grant money. HCPS will use the funding to purchase exit stopper door alarms. Those alarms will sound if a protected door is opened. All 46 schools will receive those devices. Similar alarms are in place at other county schools. Door alarms also will add on to existing school alarm systems. One person is dead after a crash that happened in eastern Henrico yesterday afternoon. It happened on Masonic Lane between 5th Street and Gay Avenue, forcing closure of that road for about an hour as police officials investigated. The cause of the crash remains under investigation. Police did not immediately release the name of the victim. And a traffic alert if you travel on I-95 in northern Henrico. Beginning on Monday, 
VDOT will implement nightly alternating single and double lane closures in both directions of the interstate between Chamberlain Avenue, that's mile marker 81, and the I-295 exit, which is mile marker 85. Those closures will take place between 9 p.m. and 7 a.m. Crews will begin demolition and removal of the Scott Road overpass bridge. The project is scheduled to be completed sometime in January. Looking for the perfect place to celebrate the holidays, relax with an exceptionally crafted drink, or enjoy unique signature dishes? Visit Revel Market and Bar in Lakeside. Revel Market and Bar has a great happy hour menu and is the home of creative and delicious shareable dishes, so bring your friends for the perfect evening out. Learn more at revelrva.net, call 804-280-9280, or visit Revel at 6223 Lakeside Avenue.